So here's the raised beds. Zucchini, lots of flowers. Now the onion. Ugh. Rather than pick them all and have no place to put them, pick them when they're ready. Oh, look at that sweet onion there. Look how big that is. I want to pick that because I'll cook it. Oh, look at that. Nice big onion. Look at my hand. How big it is. They done well. Never had onions do this well. Some Swiss chard right here. Starting to get that in because when I do harvest all these onions, I can put something else there. But Swiss chard doing well. Now over here, I got <laughs> lots of tubing. I'm redoing some tubing uh, for the garden. This over here is turning into the flower bed. You can see the fig tree. That used to be in a container and I planted right in the ground and he's doing really well. And then the artichoke. Been harvesting lots of artichoke. That one I'm letting go to flower. I want to see what the flower looks like. But um, doing well. Doing very well. And then if you'll notice down here, it's starting to tip over. But here, look at that. It's a little guy. So if this one dies or if it gets done for the season and that's it, I got this little guy that I can have take his place. So that's neat. Now, as we transition to this side of the garden, this is the flower bed. So there's bulbs that we put in, gladiolas. They seem to be doing well. And then we started to buy some flowers from the big box store, and I've started to put them in. Uh, my, I lost my um, persimmon tree. It was thin, and the wind came, and the damn thing broke. But I didn't pull it out because, look, it's still growing. So, meh, I'll let it go. So that's kind of nice. I've got flowers over here that I've put in, which is nice. I'm buying more stones to fill in my grids, make this a nice path. It's, I hate that it's still a mess like this. It's Like I say, you might have a real job, a full-time job in addition to your gardening hobby, and they compete for each other for time. This is a mulberry, which I really can't uh, figure this out. So mulberry is cold resistant. They have them up north. But when this grew last year, it froze. The, the two stalks froze, and they didn't come back. So I cut them back, and now it came back from the ground, and that's all couple months worth of growth but I thought that they would resist the cold like any other tree and they would just come back every year I have to look that one up to see why it froze uh, elephant ears this flower bed got taken over <laughs> it's crazy um, over on this side I've repotted the uh, hibiscus my dwarf banana and then like I say, I'm starting to clean up this for a flower area. And then I'm running new po polytubing and I'm gonna have a different type of irrigation emitters, more of the, the micro sprayers to get this large area rather than individual, you know, uh, ones. I really want, like a nice soak in here. So that's doing well. Um, this is the herbs, always does well, too well. Uh, dill's growing, we love dill, but it doesn't like the heat. So we've been growing it and <clears throat> Hopefully it lasts longer. Maybe the shade will protect it. Uh, that cucumber is going to be pulled. That's about it. And then I'm going to move that frame over where the other frames are. Uh, gooseberries, blueberries, trying them in a container. So far they lasted. There's even little blueberries there. So that's not bad. And then these two beds, uh, chives, and I pulled potatoes out. They have some onions stuck in here. But now that it's May... I can grow stuff here It's the because the sun, as soon as it gets October, this side goes dark. And so unless there's a shade plant that you can grow and eat that doesn't need a lot of sun because this won't get any sun in the winter. But now you can see, you know, it's morning and we get full sun on this side. So I'll have to plant some stuff there, maybe some more beans or uh, tomatoes or even, um, I don't know, cantaloupe needs more sun than that. Um, some peonies that I planted from bulb. They're starting to come up, so that's nice. Um, but anyways, that's the garden update here. Um, there's always something to do, and I never seem to get a chance to do it. Uh, this fence here uh, is starting to break. It didn't last the latest windstorms, and it's very old. So we are going to get a new fence put in, and that'll be nice too. Uh, but anyways, folks, uh, that is the update for the garden. Uh, hopefully you're starting to do things where you live and keep watching. Talk to you later.